what is up YouTube and they gonna be doing this uh, rap song bracket let's get into it first up we got Lisa by John River moving on I do think that's a better story train food is a little bit overrated so let's continue blame on me by Jack Carlo versus Rob your ex fighter Money white we got blame on me by Jack Carlo moving on I just think the hooks a lot better red bone by Childish Gambino versus Nikes by Frank Ocean Give it to Red Bone. Wait, no, this this been a toss up for me. I'm gonna give it to Nikes due to I love the hook. I love when he goes Nikes. I do think that is a better song. Red Bone is my favorite out of the two, but I'll give it to Nikes. Next we got Guys Perfect by Freddie Gibbs versus Sundown Town by Ben Staples. <sighs> I'm gonna give it to Sundown Town. Due to the fact that's a lyrical entourage and it's just better. I do enjoy you guys perfect more, but that's not off this bracket. It's not off of personal enjoyment. It's off of what's better. <laughs> um, uh, next we got Long Live Steelo by Joey Badday versus Rich Amore by J. Cole. We give it to Long Live Steelo by Joey Badday. Can't take away from what he did on that song, Legendary. Reborn by Kiss Eagles versus Sunburn by Dominic Fike. Give it Reborn. To the fact that I enjoy uh, Reborn, it's background vocals more. I do enjoy Sunburn, but Reborn is just a better song. Better Days by Reason versus Working Out by J.I.D. I have to give it a reason due to the lyrical entourage and the story that he tells. Babies and Fools by Freddie Gibbs versus uh, Gravity by Brent Fias. Give it to Babies and Fools. Feature verse is better. Production is better. Alchemist, man. Standing Ovation by Little Sims versus Fair Chance by Thundercat. I do enjoy F Fair Chance by Thundercat. It's my all time favorite song. But you can't take away from what Little Sims did on this legendary album. But we're talking about songs here. Little Sims is incredible on this song. The beat, the like, jazz, hip hop, soul infusion is great. Good for Little Sims. On that, we got Mother I Sober by Kendrick Lamar. Wait, no, that's not it. I Might Need Security by Chance Rabbit vs. Perfect Circle slash Godspeed by Mac Miller. I'm going to go, I Might Need Security. I feel like Mac Miller has better in his catalog. I Might uh, Need Security by Chance Rapper has great background uh, vocals. When it goes, F you, F you, F you, F you. <laughs> And next we got Earthquake by Tyler the Creator vs. Sugar by Brock Hampton. Two like hits. Um I'm gonna go. Ooh, this is a, this is really a tough one. <clears throat> I do enjoy Earthquake more. It does have more nostalgia. Like it is the better song here. Sugar hear me out, it's a smidge bit overrated. It's a great song, don't get me wrong, but it's a smidge bit overrated. But like Rockhampton even has better songs. As we got Infinity by XSS and Tossy Young versus One Man Can Change the World by Big Sean. One Man Can Change the World by Big Sean is just incredible. The hook, the story, everything about this song is all is perfect. XSS and Tossy Young, don't get me wrong, incredible effort by both him and Joey Bade, but still, I'm giving it to Big Sean. Up next, we got Leslie by Santana Days versus Come to Life by Kanye West. Had to give it to Leslie due to the fact that it is 12 minutes of just pure craziness, pure storytelling, pure bars. Up next, we got 327. I mean, no, we got Shadow Man's Andalugu by Deontay Hitchcock versus Pause versus Come Home by Anderson Pac and Andre 3000. We'll give it to Shadow Man's Andalugu. Don't get me wrong, Anderson Pog and Anderson Andre 3000 did their thing, but you gotta give it to Deontay Hitch, Hitch C, because I feel like it's a better song, has a better verse, it's more concise, and it's real short as well. It clocks in under three minutes. So we're gonna move on. Hurricane by Kanye West versus Good News by Mac Miller. Who? I do think the hook on Hurricane is better. I do have to give it to Good News, though. Good News is one of his best, and it really does paint a great story about Good News is all the world wants to hear. Next, we got Something to Rap About by Freddie Gibbs versus How Much a Dollar Cost by Kendrick Lamar. I'm going to have to give it to 
something to rap about by Freddie Gibb. I know how much a dollar cost. I think that's Kendrick's best song. Something to rap about is a great song. Tyler goes off, Freddie goes off. Dylan, probably one of the best beats I have ever heard. But I have to give it that much a dollar cost. We look jazz infusing and everything. Oh, next we got BB King Freestyle by Lil Wayne and Drake versus Mockingbird by Eminem. Who this, this, this is gonna upset some people? But Mockingbird, not the sped up version, regular version. I feel like this is his best song. This is his best song. Hot take. That's it. And Mockingbird is Eminem's best song. So you could you could call me out for that. BB King Freestyle is great, but Mockingbird is great. One of my all-time favorites. Flows crazy. Doesn't even curse. So it's kid friendly as well. Tate paints a great story. Mockingbird is his best song and is moving on. Four Your Eyes Only by J. Cole versus What More Can I Say by Jay Z. <sighs> this is this is real talk. You, you gotta, gotta give me a second. Do I feel like the hook is better on uh, Jay Z's part? Yes. Do I feel like the rapping performance is better on J. Cole's part? Oh, this is tough. At the end of the day, I, uh, I think I'm going to give it the What More Can I Say by Jay-Z. Great song. The rapper performance is incredible. I'm sorry, man. Four Your Eyes Only is an all-time classic, but I do got to give it to Four Your Eyes Only by J. Cole. Can I take I mean, I do got to give it What More Can I Say by Jay-Z. Do got to give it to me, man. Great song off of a great album. So, see, next up, we got this round two. I'll see that'll be in the next video, next part to it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.